Oh, are we on the air? Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we are going to talk about the Predator Revo. I'm going to give you my thousand hour review. I'll talk to you about the different options that are available with the Revo, which Revo tip might be best for you, which is the number one question that I get from a lot of people. But before we do that, let me talk about how we got to a thousand hours. In late February 2020, I received my first Revo in the mail. That was 405 days ago. On average, I have a cue in my hand anywhere from two to four hours, on average three hours a day between videos and practicing. So that's 1,215 hours and 90% of the time my videos are featuring the Revo. During that year, I've had three tip changes and produced 105 YouTube videos that included the Revo. So let's talk about two features of the Revo that make it an outstanding cue. This is the lowest deflection cue on the market, hands down. The most important thing to me about the Predator Revo is the fact that it is carbon fiber. The number one advantage that carbon fiber has over wood is consistency. If you have a wooden cue and you've had it for even, I don't know, 10 hours worth of play, you'll know that that cue is different in hour one than it is in hour 10. It is certainly different in hour one than it is in hour 1000. The reason is wood breathes, it changes, it gets marked up, it gets little dings in it that you're adjusting to while you're shooting with it. Carbon fiber stays the same from one year to the next wood changes from one shot to the next. So consistency, durability, there's no question. Your carbon fiber cue 10 years from now is going to look and feel the way it does today. A wooden cue is guaranteed to have changed over that time period. So carbon fiber also gives you the benefit of longevity. It's going to hold its value much longer. Predator cues in general hold their value much longer than other cues and carbon fiber holds its value much better than wooden cues do. Throw into the mix the most accurate low deflection cue and you've got yourself a winner across the board. So let me answer some of the most commonly asked questions as far as the Predator Revo goes. First off, there is probably a joint that fits your cue. If you go to Predator's website, PredatorCues.com, you will find most likely a joint that will fit your cue. The next question I get is about tip size. The smaller tips, the 11.8, is very good for putting additional spin on the cue ball, where the 12.4 is better for control, finesse shots with English. That's actually the cue size that I use. The 12.9 has a more firm and is a stiffer shaft overall, and it's really good for power. So with the 12.4, I've basically split the difference between the two other sizes, and I find the 12.4 to be perfect for me. Another question I get is about the vault plate. The Predator Revo originally came out and only had a black vault plate, but now, as you can see in the photograph, a white vault plate has been available for some time now. I am fortunate enough to have both cues in my possession. And I can tell you that I've shot for a year with the black vault plate with an awful lot of success. But since receiving the white vault plate, I decided that that's going to be my primary and the black vault plate will be my secondary shaft. Both of them work great. I find that targeting is a little bit better for me with the white vault plate, even though I've gotten accustomed to the black vault plate over this time period. The last question is about what tip is best for the Revo. And over the course of the 400 plus days I've had the Revo, I've tried three different tips on the queue. And I can tell you that the Revo generally comes with, unless you ask for a change, it's going to come with the victory tip. The victory tip out of the other tips that I've experimented with 
seems to be superior. It holds its shape better, and because of its color, it makes aiming that much easier. I've been through a couple of different brands, and I've gone full circle and back to the victory tip. So there's my recommendations. I hope this helped you guys. Obviously, I love the Q, and I can't imagine having anything else as my primary shaft at this point. So hit me in the comments. If you own a Revo, let me know what you think of it. And have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.